What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. Now, there's a few things I wanted to say when it comes to Fallon. When she came out after Portia and Simon announced that they were getting married, they were engaged, they had been dating, and it came as like a shock to the majority of the people who were familiar with them because the last time people saw Simon and Fallon were married. They had been on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And yeah, most of us saw Portia twerking in the pool at Fallon and Simon's house. And Simon was sitting there enjoying it as he was staring (laughs) and sitting down as if it was not a big deal. But with all of that, after all of that came out, Fallon, she did a sit down interview. The first one that she did, I believe, with a, a YouTuber up in Adam. Now, she came out, she looked pretty, and she just honestly came across as a you know, she was crying and as a victim of whatever, but it was, it was a different tone then, which I felt like was a bit weird because it was almost as if she felt nervous about really saying how she really felt about Portia. And she didn't even really go in on Simon. She shared some things and gave some context clues, but she didn't really go into any depth and detail. So it left a lot of people to just really kind of assume and come to their own conclusions. When I listened to it, I mean, I wasn't team anybody, but if anything, if I had to pick a side, I definitely was picking Fallon's side. I really didn't care if Fallon had been cheating on Simon or not because... I'm not saying adultery is okay, but two wrongs don't make a right. And for them to be out there publicly flaunting their relationship and announcing that they're engaged and he was trying to just dog her on social media and show people all these receipts and proof. And now we see what he's putting Portia through, right? So <laughs> that it's that's just who he is. It wasn't even really about Fallon. It's more about him and that's his character. That's his nature. But now Fallon's out here. She's, you know, doing videos with friends, you know, laughing. She's, you know, saying stay tuned or I got a lot to say and, you know, and all of these different things. And that's fine. I really don't have an issue with feel however you want to feel. But I really wish that the heat that she seems to have for Portia now, she had for her then. I don't really know what the change in tone is at this point. But now she's out here pretty much saying Portia better not make the mistake of being up in my face because that wouldn't be good for her. Let me ask you this. If you if you ever ran into Portia, what would you talk to her about? That wouldn't be a safe scenario. Oh, oh. Uh, it's smoke. For her or? It's smoke. That. I mean, at the end of the day, she knows what she did. It, it could play out in the media. However, everybody wants to try to play it out. I know what she did. Simon knows what she did. Portia knows what she did. That wouldn't be a safe scenario. So I wouldn't even put myself in a predicament of... Even allowing that, you know, I'm a grown woman now. I would have talked to her. Talk to her. Ain't gonna be no talking. Were you shocked to uh, to find out when Portia and Simon separated? No. Was anybody? So do you think that was you think that was real? No. The whole relationship, you don't think was real? You don't think it was real at all? No, I think it was just a ploy to get back at me. I mean, really? Mm, yeah. Not to get back on. I know on, Simon. Like, I not know to have him. like a storyline or anything like that. No, I mean she probably used it for a storyline, sure. Yeah, yeah. Not to get back. I know on, Simon. Like, not I know to him. have like a storyline or anything like that. No, I mean she probably used it for a storyline, sure. Yeah, that was definitely a ploy because they were already together for, they were dating for a year. Mm. Prior, while I was happily married, and that came from Dennis's mouth. Mm. So. Child, this is, see, this is my issue. Why didn't she say this when she was sitting down with Up and Adam? And I actually believe her. I'm not saying that she's lying or she's changing her story. 
I just feel like for whatever reason, maybe it was because she felt guilty because she had started seeing someone, but she said that Portia and Simon was dating for a year while she was happily married to Simon. Why didn't she say this then? Like, I feel like at this point, it's... It's information that isn't really usable by people, but it's her life. So I'll never sit here to say that, well, she should just shut up now. I would never say that. I'm just saying I really wish this is what she said then and not now. I really wish she said this then. And then when the the chips started falling and the cookies started crumbling and the marriage is dissolving, then she could just come out at this point now and say, I told y'all, I don't care if I was six months pregnant or whatever people are saying. I don't care if I was screwing the pool boy. He gave me a reason to because he was, I told you, seeing Portia dating her for a year while married to me. This is what she should have said when she was married to Adam. Lord, when she was sitting down speaking to Adam, this is what she should have said then. Not now. So it was just almost like she was just trying to protect in some way because she knew that Portia was seen as someone that was a lot of people's fave. And a lot of people were up for that silliness and saying, yeah, go girl, get that bag, blah, blah, blah. Like it was just, yeah, it was a lot of stupidness with that. But sometimes you have to just come out and be that unpopular person And then when the truth comes out, then you can just, (laughs) you don't even really have to say anything. People could just say, wow, you know what? Fallon did say that then. And look at what happened. So it's making her look silly at this point. And I feel bad about that because I don't believe that she should have to feel that way. But people are so fickle because even in comment sections, people are like, girl, please, you know, Fallon, you would get dragged by Portia. Don't make me call Portia. And, you know, making comments like that. And that just goes to show you that I kind of understand why she didn't. But if she was going to do the sit down, that's what she really should have revealed. I mean, honestly, if you're going to do it, be like Usher and confess it. If I'm going to tell it, then I'm going to tell it all. Just come out and just put it all out there on the table and then, you know, be like the Bible. Just do the revelations. And then when time goes by, let the things start to transcend and, and, (laughs) and happen. And then people start to look back and say, you know what? She did tell us. So that's what she should have did then not now. So I don't have an issue with her saying it. I just have an issue with the fact that she's saying it now and she didn't say it then. If she was going to speak, it would be one thing if she didn't say anything at all. And then she's coming out now and saying saying these things. I wouldn't have an issue with it. My only real issue is the fact that she's saying the things that she's saying it and saying it how she's saying it right now. I just felt like the sit down that she did with Adam back then and then even the other interviews that she did was kind of useless because she should have just said what she said now, then. That's my only real issue with it. And I don't have an issue with her feeling like, you know, if me and Portia were face to face, the feelings that I've had pent up, they might come out in a physical way. I'm not here to be a referee to see, to say <laughs> who I believe was going to win the fight. Because these are grown women. This is so stupid. But I just feel that she should have revealed this then if she was going to speak at all. And speaking of speaking, <laughs> Carlos King with these interviews, I, I want to play a clip. He interviewed Mama D from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Scrappy's mom. And she said something, and I'm not even really here to say much about what she said, because we already know that what she revealed is disgusting. But I want to talk about something else. Let me just go ahead and play this clip. So when I spoke to Scrappy, he did say when he was younger, he would... He his about one of my... He still owe me. Scrappy still owe mama for that trick. Huh. <laughs> what? No, what I'm, I, I, he didn't tell me that. It is what it is. <sighs> 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 
Carlos, you know, that's the reaction of him sitting there laughing at that to me was the most disgusting thing. It wasn't even Mama D saying what she said. Yeah, that goes without saying. But Carlos's reaction, I'm not saying that he should have gotten the phone and called the authorities at that moment in time, but him sitting there laughing at it like it's funny and it's not. Now, what if a man, a father said that about their daughter and how they had a man service their daughter? We already know that that would not be tolerated. I I just feel that Carlos's reaction was absolutely disgusting. But when it comes to him, I don't really expect much less. He is as messy as they come. And there was nothing funny about that. I'm sure he did not expect. I'm sure he didn't. Well, maybe he did expect that. I don't know (laughs) when it comes to him. But there are some people out of nervousness and tension, their reactions, they're, they're different. But. Him laughing at that, I just was, I just was done. And he doesn't care because it's like, yeah, you know, it's getting me the views that I want. So I really could care less. But that, that was gross. And Carlos's reaction was actually what disgusted me more at that moment than Mama D and what she said about Scrappy. Because we already know, we already know how she is. And it just makes me, understand Bambi's feelings even more when it comes to her apprehension to dealing with another guy that even has a mother that's alive. If you've dealt with somebody like that, you have so much scarring where you don't, you don't even trust any other mothers of the guys that you're dating at this point because you know what you experienced before. I couldn't imagine There are some guys as mothers that are just pretty much evil, like seriously. And you don't want to have anything to do with them. And it's just, it's just the way it is. To hear her say something like that, really foul. But to hear Carlos sitting there laughing at it, like it's hilarious, that was even more foul to me. So I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. You can let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.